Hey guys, Duncan here, and uh, today I've got an interesting application to review. It's called Metal Gear Solid Touch Lite. Um, now, as most of you will know, the uh, the main the paid version of this has been out for a few weeks now. But uh, between the price and I, I just I just decided to hold out for a while just to see maybe for the price to go down or something. But uh, today, this morning, the uh, a light version came out for it, and I I've got to say I'm I'm pretty impressed. Light version features some uh, first of all uh, fantastic gameplay. I really I, at first I was really iffy about how, uh, why isn't it you know a real third person shooter or first person shooter or whatever. But uh, while it would be nice to move around and everything, basically it's almost like. Uh, I mean, just in theory, it's like just tapping on people and shooting. I mean, that doesn't sound like much fun, but between the graphics and, and the way that you do actually slightly move around a little bit and the way you're tapping, you're not really paying attention. You're basically just going bam, 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 bam. Uh, the game, it, the light version is, I'll, I'll say, really quite short. I mean, you only have a couple of levels, and each level only lasts maybe a minute or two. But that being said, it still gives you enough time to figure out how it works, how uh, uh, figure out how everything works. It gives you it gives you a good tutorial at the beginning, and uh, I've got to say it's 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 quite a bit of fun. I mean, I I I, bl I blew through it. It probably took longer to download than it did to play through. But uh, I don't know. I've got to, I've got to say it was pretty good. Uh, as soon as you fire it up, it, you will just notice that it has. Just great, great, great music. Um, just a really epic score. I don't, I don't know. It's probably, I, I would imagine it's probably from the uh, the uh, console games because <laughs> I don't think they would do such good music just for this. But you, 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 as soon as you fire it up, you'll be like, "Wow, this is this is this is really cool." Um, the thing is, uh, now one of my main downsides with it is that it, it's. It's got a story. It definitely does have a story. Now, I I'll be the first to admit, I I've never really played any of the uh, Metal Gear games for Xbox or PlayStation or anything, so I don't really know much about it behind the uh, behind the story. But um, it's got a story, and what it is is it shows the uh, it shows the uh, not cutscenes. It would just be like a picture of whatever. And then it just you just uh, scan through and just like some text just says you know this happens this happens, and it's nice it has a story, but basically all it is that you you shoot at a bunch of people in the level then it goes and tells you just just tells you a little bit about what could what's happening, I mean it's it's really basic and then back to fighting so I I don't I, there's nothing wrong with having a story obviously and there's nothing wrong with just doing some shoot 'em just. You know, just some random, just shooting gameplay. But when you try to mix the two and it doesn't work that great, it it just kind of seems a little, I don't know, just not that great. I mean, I would have preferred pro almost that they would have just left the story out or or something because it's just it's just basically just a little bit of reading something that you that doesn't really even matter, and then you go fire some more. Um, I I gotta say, the gameplay is really actually really quite good. Um, uh, the when I was uh, reading through the tutorial, I was like kind of getting a little nervous. Is like pinch here, zoom here, tap here, lift the finger off, all this stuff. I'm like, oh great, this is gonna be complicated. But little, I mean, it was so easy. I mean, I got I got it pretty much down in 15, 20 seconds. I mean, it's real simple. You just all you have to do is just drag your finger over to where you want them to shoot, and there's a little uh on screen cursor. Just tap it to fire. And, a couple times, whatever you need to do, and then uh, later on you'll get a sniper rifle, and it's even simpler. You just pinch real quick, and you also and you go into a scope mode. You just tap, fire, and you have to do that for the farther off enemies. Um, it's definitely uh, it definitely it, it sounds, seems complicated reading through uh, the tutorial, really complicated, but it it's really intuitive, simple, and you just boom, and it, it's taken care of. Um, uh, the Metal Gear Solid Touch is it's a it's a good game. Uh, light, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a good game. Um, you if you haven't if you thought that you might like the paid version, uh, go ahead definitely pick this up. Um, it's a bit it's a big file. I think it's 
it it took it put, took me I've got a, a decent connection it took me about 15 minutes to download it um it's a, it's it's a fun way to try it um definitely if you if you're considering buying the paid version definitely pick this up try it um as for me I don't think it, uh, the paid version I believe right now it's eight dollars I don't think the light version didn't impress me enough to spend eight dollars on it but uh I don't know. It it definitely uh, got me thinking because it has some really just fantastic graphics, some good gameplay, um, and uh, it looks like not knowing, of course, the uh, full version. It looks like it could have some uh, some some pretty good replay value. I mean, I'm I'm I've already played through the light version three times already. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I would go ahead go ahead and have to give this application a solid seven and a half out of ten. It's a uh, it's fun. Really short, but it it's it's long enough to let you know how how the game is. Be sure to check out Zedric dot com for the latest app reviews and iPhone and iPod Touch news. Thanks for watching, guys.